David, it's not what many homeowners wanted to hear, obviously. Uh, they were taking some comfort in the fact that most economists thought we'd have another pause. Not so. Yeah, that's right. I thought there was going to be another pause as well, you know, in reliance on what the market betting was and mm -hmm. what the economists said. So uh, this has definitely come as a surprise to uh, most people out there. Uh, in fact, uh, when you look at what the major banks were saying, uh, you know, most of them were betting there would be uh, a pause in interest rate. The Commonwealth Bank was the only one that forecast there would be an increase, and it turns out they were right. And uh, when you look at money markets, there was a 90% chance uh, that rates would remain unchanged and a 10% chance of a rate hike. Turns out the 10% were correct after all. So, uh, look, I, and it's really interesting, uh, this decision, because uh, in a sense, it looks like the Reserve Bank, I guess, is pushed back uh, deliberately against expectations mm. they would pause. And um, they were expecting a second pause uh, in a row. That's what markets were thinking. And uh, the reason for the pause last month was because the Reserve Bank wanted to see uh, how uh, the effect of the previous interest rate hikes was taking effect, whether it was slowing down the economy enough. And, you know, when you jump to the final paragraph of the Reserve Bank statement, that gives you a clue about their future intentions. And uh, it wasn't that much different from the previous month. In fact, the Reserve Bank says that some further tightening of monetary policy uh, you know, may be expected uh, to ensure inflation returns to target in a reasonable time. I mean, that's what they said last month, and the uh, Reserve Bank said they would remain resolute uh, you know, to do whatever it takes to bring inflation down. Mm. Uh, so, look, I, I guess uh, it definitely is a surprise, and it's not much comfort to uh, those paying off a mortgage because the home loan repayments uh, will no doubt uh, rise uh, considerably, the banks, uh, you know, they've shown a tendency to pass on uh, the rate hikes in full when it comes to uh, people paying off mortgage, but not so much when it comes to savings accounts. Yeah, I mean, we've gotten so used to hearing that interest rates are rising each month, if not, it doesn't make it easier to pay it off for, for homeowners. We even saw there in that uh, news conference not as many questions about the rate hikes, mostly about the budget in a week's time. So getting back to that pause last month, I mean, what was it? Was it just a blip in the system? Were they testing the waters? Was it too soon? Well, um, according to the minutes of the previous month's meeting, uh, the Reserve Bank Board uh, did say they were considering two options, either uh, you know, a pause or a rate hike. Uh, but they ultimately opted for that pause because they just wanted to wait and see uh, you know, how it was impacting the economy. Because there's a lag effect. Yes. Uh, you know, once the, the Reserve Bank lifts rates, it doesn't instantly uh, result in your mortgage payments. Uh, increasing or consumer spending slowing down instantly. It does take some time to feed through the system, so I just wanted to wait and see. But then I guess this time I decided not to wait and see. Many people were expecting the pause to go on for uh, quite a while. And, you know, in fact, many economists from the major banks were expecting 3.6% uh, uh, to be the peak mm. of the interest rates. But now it uh, has risen to 3.85%. And, look, I still, you know, many economists are still uh, expecting maybe this is the new peak, 3.85%, mm. because I guess the higher uh, interest rates rise it does increase the chance of a recession. And that was one question uh, Treasurer Jim Chalmers was asked in that press conference just then. And, you know, by the Reserve Bank's own admission, uh, the exact wording it is saying is that, yeah, it wants to uh, achieve a soft landing for the economy, one that doesn't involve a recession, but the path to get there is a narrow one. Uh, it, I read that to mean a low probability. Mm -hmm. uh, so with each successive rate hike, it does increase the chance of recession. But uh, I guess the comforting news is that the Reserve Bank is willing to tolerate higher inflation for quite some time. So uh, that's not expected to uh, result in like, you know, big job losses anytime soon. So just quickly, Dave, how has the market reacted? Uh, yeah, quite strongly, mm -hmm. because the market was surprised and the strongest reaction was in the currency market. We can see that the Aussie dollar had a pretty big jump against all major currencies, up almost 1%. So it's now uh, buying 67 US cents. And when we take a look at the share market, the market was flat before the decision, but now it's tumbled by more than 1.1% uh, with every sector in the red. So currency markets and uh, the share market were also surprised by this uh, rate hike from the Reserve Bank, Gemma. Dave, thank you.